everyone, welcome to Code with Shini. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at what is a service in Angular. So, service is a type of category that surrounds by providing feature that an app needs. Service is simply a TypeScript class with a well-defined purpose to increase modularity to your app. Angular distinguishes components from services. This is also known as separation of concerns. Okay, a component, as, you, as we have seen earlier, a component's primary job is to interact with template and nothing more. Component mediates between your uh, field, uh, I mean, mediates between the template and application logic by binding fields such as like the one you see here, the books, uh, properties, methods to your template. So whatever you define here, say for example, if you have a title equals a test title, component delegates those information over here so let's just say title instantly it'll it'll be shown up in your template so this is the one we have seen earlier so like this okay so let's move this to list of books change this to list of books so you will have that's what a component does it binds fields and properties to your template so likewise there are other application logic such as fetching data from a server and pushing data to a server so these kind of operations even your component can handle that okay there are certain certain tasks that a component can delegate um, to other so other uh, typescript classes okay and you can you can do such things in the component itself for example you can uh, call up uh, define a method and ask your template to render that such as get books what it will do is it will display a list of books over here so I mean let's assume that you have uh, you have called up an HTTP service over here a logic for HTTP service you're not going to look into the HTTP service as such but we will be looking the service as general okay so your component your template calls get books from your component method and uh, let's assume you have an HTTP call that's going from here and then you get a return from the HTTP call So that is the list of books over here and in turn it goes to your ng4 directive list that lists the list of books over here So thing is you can do this in component itself, but uh, there are some caveats uh, like um, You can write logic here, but angular don't mind using that pattern but angular enforces you i mean it doesn't enforce as such angular helps you to follow these principles for separation of concerns and that helps you with the modularity of code reuse okay so what does it mean which means that we can move this entire block of code inside a service in the real world application most of these operations will be coming from the server instead of hot coding from hot coding here okay so we are using a hard-coded um, response data so we don't I mean in real world this will be obviously coming from the server so to fetch a list of books from the server we need an HTTP endpoint we can call an HTTP service here inside our component there is a problem with this approach by doing this you are making your component a tightly coupled component should not include any other logic other than the presentation logic okay so your, co your component should handle handshake between your, HT your HTML and uh, the fields inside your component. Okay, it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be uh, doing the HTTP service from your component. Okay, it should delegate those uh, operations to your services. Okay, so Angular's principle is modularity and code reuse. So that's what that's why we are going to a framework approach. In a single page application this is absolutely necessary when you are building a real world web application okay so instead of writing our http code inside a component we can move this to a separate typescript class called this and call this as a service and then we can reuse this call in multiple places so that uh, for that let's create a new service called books.service.ts okay um you should you should if you notice we are following a convention called for a service class it should be dot service dot ts and for a component it is component dot ts okay 
So the name of our service is books and by convention we have used the word service in the file name. It's by convention. Okay, so you can use any other names if you want, but we have to strictly follow the convention so that when a, when a large team is working, like more than two member team, now let's create a plain TypeScript class called books service, right? And then we need to export, we need to expose this class as a service uh, that can be shared across your component. So we need to export this TypeScript class to other, com other parts of the code. And then let's take our method from here. Let's get rid of this in the component and move this to your service. Now, okay, so this is a logic to our HTTP service. Obviously, this will call upon another HTTP service. Then it goes on and on. So we can uh, we can use separate HTTP service and we'll be having a certain set of uh, operations there in the HTTP service. Okay, so that's how a real world app um, will be done. But now, for a short example and overview, this is fair enough. Okay, we are just now we have created our HTTP. Sorry, we have created our service. Now we need to use that service. So how do we do that? Let's open up a constructor. We need to create a constructor. Every component will have a constructor, and then it's not mandatory, but it's always useful. Now we need to define. We need to use our book service. So let of service equals new service there is a problem immediately i'm seeing okay okay so we we have used our book service class which is obviously this one right but there is an error that's because we need to include them in our component file so it should be like this and from the current directory to books.service okay the errors are gone uh, if you notice we are giving it as books.service and not the ts we are not giving a ts because typescript um, automatically applies dot ts in your import statements we have book service object here and we can use books i mean it's this dot books equals books service dot get books so naturally we are calling our book service get method get books method and then this in turn returns our books now let's go to our template and change this to books you will instantly see the results bingo so you have it there this is one way of uh, implementing your service but now again there is a problem with our implementation the new operator over here okay is actually tightly coupled to our component okay this this one also defeats our very purpose of modularity and code reuse so instead of creating an instance of our class like this we can tell the angular to do so so we can delete our instantiation and add a parameter in our constructor okay so let's go ahead and delete this right now we can go ahead define our book service and copy copy this and over here in our constructor and then books service okay immediately you see a problem here because it's not displaying our list of books and there is a quite lot of error going on okay if you notice static injector error app module okay now uh, it's a pretty complex one okay by doing this like this okay in the constructor angular creates an instance of this component and and it sees a dependency right so it first it creates an instance of the book service and pass it to our constructor so um, okay so this is the thing happening here so you have a book service and the angular when it sees the constructor it creates a it sees there is a dependency happening over here and then creates an instance of that book service now we need to instruct our angular to create an instance of our book service and pass it to our component okay this technology this um, thing is called dependency injection okay dependency injection now let's head over to app module ts now in our app module ts 
we need to register our book service as a providers in this module so let's say there is no provider so we can go ahead and create a provider providers then open our brackets now we're gonna add book service this and go to component let's copy this book service paste it over here that's another problem no that's not a problem oh, okay it's working fine so we just uh, ignore this for a while and okay so we just added our book service in our providers which will now okay now when you register a dependency as a provider in a module angular will create an instance of that class or that entire module this concept is called a singleton pattern okay so um to make it simple okay imagine in this module we have 50 components right uh, like a uh, books component like app component we have some 50 other components and 25 out of these components will be using our books service in the memory we will have only one single instance of our book service angular will pass the same instance for all those 25 components in short this is called a singleton pattern okay so a single single instance of a given object in memory gets used on, across all the components that it may need or depend upon okay so this is done and pretty much this is pretty much uh, what is uh, what it is okay so now let's go to our app component and yeah we got we got the we have seen the dependency injection and we have seen the singleton pattern as well so this is how a service works so if you replace this information this logic into an HTTP service which we'll be covering later you will be using uh, instead of uh, the hard-coded data you will be having a real HTTP data okay and another thing is uh, generating your HTTP sorry generating your service uh, using angular CLI um, because I'm using stack blitz I cannot show you I'll show I'll be showing you in a slide okay so for that we will be giving a command called ng g s and uh, name of your service in this case let's create a login service wherein uh, the user will come to your web application and gives a login so those login information will be handled by a login service let's assume that that uh, login is going to happen in your web app okay so once you give that the ng is our cli command line interface and g is the generate and s is the service and when you give login um, hang on a second I do have a that blitz generator so let's give a service called login and press enter angular immediately creates a login service for me we have a plain type script called login service okay that is something extra that we didn't came across uh, we have this method called injectable right which is another decorator function which is a lot lot similar to our component but why do we need this decorative function in the first place? Now, this decorative function allows uh, allows this class, um, which is a login service, to have another dependencies. Okay, um, kind of confusing, but you will be getting over it when when you gonna I mean when you start using your app. For example, let's assume we have a dependency called log and logging service i don't have a logging service created here but i'm just giving it as a fair example obviously we'll be having a, an error over here because uh, there is no login service okay let's assume this is just an assumption like we have we'll be having a login service and that login logging service will be applied here oh why not we just go ahead and create logging service to make it more functional So let's generate a service called login. So we will be having a login service and we need to import that. From login service. 
okay so and obviously that needs to go inside the app module as well as a wires okay it works now when you generate uh, your angular ngcli also inserts uh, your newly created service inside the provider so that's a good thing now okay we were, we were discussing about injectable right now in this case we need to tell angular that this class is an injectable class as it has dependency on log service class logging service class okay um, angular allows us so this logging service uh, will be having a dependency on the logging uh, logging service okay um, that's uh, not a nice name to have because both have naming uh, the pronunciation of course okay so your login service will be using a log service as a dependency so this one is having a dependency over this one so um, the angular when it hits the constructor when it sees the constructor it sees a dependency right over here okay um, when it sees that angular automatically uh, creates a dependency injection on this to do that we need an injectable decorator function to allow allow these sort of operations okay so that way you will be having dependency injection in the login in the services as well okay while creating a component if you move over to the component you will notice one thing we don't have a in injectable decorator function but why are we using it as a dependency injection of book service inside the constructor okay for that the answer is very simple the component uh, decorator includes the injectable decorator internally the mechanism is included internally inside the component decorator okay so this is pretty much about the injectable to sum it up let me not confuse you too much okay to make the to make the logging service as a dependent for the login service we need to use an injectable if you create if you're going to create a service in angular cli your, your angular cli automatically includes this in your um, service file service class file okay so we have pretty much covered what it is what is a service dependency injection singleton pattern and injectable in general okay so this is pretty much about it this is the end of the session now if you like my video please hit that like button and do subscribe to my channel to get updates whenever I post a video. If you have a request to post any other type of angular videos, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you.